All right, hey, Honors Chemistry. Today, in my absence, I wanted you to work on this sticky tape post lab. It will be due Monday in your notebook along with your data. So the Monday is the 4th, 2019. All right, this will be due Monday, and you could fold it, tape it, staple it into your notebook along with your sticky tape data. Okay, so yesterday in class we talked about Thomson's model to explain where these charges were coming from. All right, and if you remember, now our model of the matter is going to have electrons in them. Now we have electrons. We want to apply this to our sticky tape lab. So I have top and bottom tape, and I've arbitrarily labeled them as positive and negative, um, but it doesn't need to be so, um, so you can ignore that. Let's say this is my top tape, and this is my bottom tape. I know that both of them are not attracted to each other, so if there's no attraction, there's gonna be an equal number of electrons we're gonna use four okay so what do I mean by that if I have an uneven amount of electrons there will be an attraction so uneven amount of electrons will cause an attraction make a note of that it's because there's gonna be a different charge if I have an uneven amount of electrons so let's say I have four electrons in every one of my tape atoms, All right? I have an even amount. And so these, I'm drawing a bunch of minus signs in the circle, All right? Now let's say these come into contact, right? I know there's no attraction here. Then they come into contact, okay? They come into contact. I'm not gonna draw anything in this yet, but I know this there's, there's an attraction here. With an attraction, there must be an unequal amount of electrons. Unequal number of electrons. All right, so in order for that to happen, when the two of them came together, electrons must have come off one of the pieces and stuck onto another one. So we're gonna make the assumption and we're gonna say that since the top part was the sticky tape, it ripped up some electrons from the bottom. So let's say the top tape took electrons from the bottom. I'm gonna take one though. All right, the top tape took some electrons from the bottom tape. And so now let's say I, I transferred one electron from each atom. As mentioned in class, I know Ari mentioned in class, like we'll get have a transfer. Okay, so now I'll have one, two, three, four, five, 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 and then I only have three here. Okay, there are more electrons up here now. That means it's gonna be more negative. There are gonna be less electrons here now. It's gonna be less negative, or what we call more positive. All right, so describe the macroscopic changes in the tapes and then provide a microscopic explanation. So your macroscopic for your, def for your explanation would be, when you're answering this, is tell me what does it look like in person what does it look like in person, right? So big scale, big scale. So I want you to explain what's going on to the tape. So you're going to say things that are attraction or non-attraction. And when it says microscopic scale, just like we drew up here, talk and discuss the movement of electrons all right also talk about uneven number of electrons to get positive and negative charges 
we mentioned in class that the whole purpose of ripping the tape is to charge the tape. If I didn't rip the tape apart, I would get no charges and I would have equal charges. They'd be neutral and there would be no attraction. All right. On the bottom it says, we observe that neither foil nor paper, foil is metal, paper is non-metal, would attract each other. But foil and paper are both attracted to both the charged tapes. And a lot of us had recorded that. Some of us had like little attraction for paper, but we know we got attraction to foil. How can we use the pudding model of atoms to explain the differences we observed? Several atoms from the paper and foil are drawn on the next page. The ones on the left have no charge object near them. The ones on the right are next to a top tape. So what I want you to do to end this post lab is think about this is my um, paper and this is my aluminum foil. In my tapes and my paper, you said there was little to no attractions. For my tape and my metal, there were attractions. To complete this, I want you to draw electrons in each atom, right? Now draw electrons in each atom and discuss why the top tape and the paper or the top tape and aluminum foil, why would they be not attracted and attracted to each other? And then furthermore, prove and show why doing that, why would two of the aluminum foils not be attracted to each other? And why would the two non-metals not be attracted to each other or the two pieces of uh, paper not be attracted to each other? Remember, for attraction, we have an unequal number of electrons. For no attraction, there's going to be an equal number of electrons. So we said little to no attraction. What can we say about the number of electrons between these two and the tape? For attractions, what can we say about the tape and the foil and then the two metal foils with respect to each other? So use this video, explain why these ranges of, of electrons would produce the observed attractions. And then when you are done trying to draw in the electrons and then answer and, and these questions or this question, you're going to tape this or fold this into your notebook. And then I'm going to check this on Monday. Alrighty, hopefully this video kind of walked you through at least half of what you're supposed to do. If you have any other questions or concerns, let me know and I can try and help you from afar.